Ivan, myself Ivo. In today's session of Visual J Forex, I will be explaining to you the use of indicator block named Time Segmented Volume (TVS). Actually, it is a TSV, but on our Visual J Forex platform, it is listed as the TVS. So I will be taking you through this uh, explanatory part, and we will see how we can utilize this indicator block to design and develop the automated algorithm to trade on the JForex platform. This indicator you will find listed amongst these uh, volume indicators in prior session. We had considered the on balance volume. It is uh, pretty much similar to the OBV but there is one key difference and uh, this is a proprietary tool developed by Warden Inc and uh, we will see its uh, basic functioning and uh, then its utility also. So here it is TVS. For uh, today's session, we will be considering on tick as our start point to initialize the setup, and uh, then we have to look at its input parameters. The four input parameters needs to be defined for uh, this indicator to work, and depending on this uh, combination of input parameters, we will be getting the output value using which we will be in a position to determine the trend of the underlying. Uh, instrument and decide about the trading opportunities. I will uh, explain to you this indicator using the JForex platform. This is an euro USD chart plotted on the hourly time frame. To search for this indicator, all you have to do is write TVS quick search and here you get time segmented volume. Now coming to its uh, technicality, the Formula, the actual formula it is not really included in uh, the description for the block on the J4X side. So I will not be going into the details of that. And for us, the calculation will be done by the system. And all we have to do is worry about the four parameters which need to be defined as per our requirement. And uh, depending on that, we will be, trade, we will be trading on the intraday or uh, from the medium to longer term perspective so first you have to define your time horizon and uh, if you are looking for the short term trading opportunities then the lower time frame will be beneficial but if you are looking for the medium to longer term then the longer time horizon longer time periods like daily or uh, more than that will be useful to see how the trend is unfolding we rely on these uh, TVS output value. It can be above zero or below zero, and uh, it will have these uh, fluctuations depending on this uh, price action. To calculate the TVS, two components are uh, taken into account. One is the volume, and another is the price action. So, in that respect, in uh, calculation, it is uh, similar to the OBV, but the key difference is the is that this is a uh, segmented data so we have to determine for uh, what time duration we want to calculate the TVS and uh, then we have to take that uh, parameter and uh, take uh, data points for uh, that much amount of time and uh, using that uh, price action as well as the volume data we come to find we come to calculate this uh, output value for the time segmented volume so here this is a default setup. Now as you can see this is uh, defined for the 18 candlesticks of 1 hour each of the Euro USD, and uh, that means this is a segmented uh, volume data, segmented price action data for last 18 candlesticks that is 18 hours data on the Euro USD as each candle is of 1 hour. Suppose if I change this uh, time period for each channel it can be changed to anything starting from 10 seconds to this one month time horizon we are using the japanese candlesticks if you want to change it to different one then these options are there but we are not going into that for example let us change it to the 10 minute period for uh, euro usd 
taking a bit time let's hope it will be loaded fast okay so here we got this now this uh, graph shows you how the price action affects this uh, plotting as you can see when the price action was downward when the price was correcting we had this uh, tvs data being plotted on uh, the lower time frame uh, on the lower side below zero and uh, when the price started to recover when newfound buying came in we had this uh, time segmented volume plotting above zero and uh, zero line is the median factor and above it the underlying instrument is considered bullish and below it the momentum is uh, considered bearish for the underlying instrument for any instrument which we are using for uh, our purpose so i think looking at that uh, we can utilize this combination whenever the time segmented volumes output value rises from below the zero to above zero that can be considered as a uh, turning point for the momentum for underlying instrument and uh, we can look for fresh buying opportunities and uh, when the momentum shifts gears from bullish to bearish when the tvs value drops below zero from above zero that indicates the fact that bears are now taking an uh, upper hand and this might be the time to look for short selling opportunities so that way we can uh, utilize this indicator there is a uh, one another uh, uh, option to go for and that is uh, looking at the divergence if we see that uh, on the plotted chart if the price action is forming lower lows but if the tvs is forming the higher lows then that is going to be the divergence and uh, we can uh, anticipate the possible trend change in those circumstances and uh, vice versa for uh, the sell trade uh, for the upper uh, side trade when we see that the price action is uh, in bullish trajectory and it is forming higher highs but at the same time there is not much of an uh, enthusiasm on the tvs plotting and we see the formation of lower highs then that also signals a possible turnaround in the underlying momentum and uh, that can be utilized as the confirmatory factor to look for trades in the uh, contrary to the underlying trend so that will be uh, trading with the divergence and uh, as i tried to explain to you earlier we can also trade with the trend whenever the momentum shifts from one side to another from bearish to bullish or from bullish to bearish now as i try to walk you through these uh, different uh, time periods if you want to work with the time periods like 4 hourly then you can do so and here you will have these uh, plotting accordingly we can utilize all these uh, options given to us we can even take daily weekly and uh, the most important thing is uh, what is your horizon what is your time horizon for any particular trade and we can even take uh, multiple time horizons and do some uh, clustering and combination and try to figure out some uh, permutation combination which is going to bring us good amount of profit so that will be one thing to look at it and uh, try to exploit the situation using this uh, indicator block now let us head back to the j4x board we use j4x board so here first thing we have to do is choose the instrument of your choice if you want to work with the euro usd you don't have to do anything if you want to change the instrument then you have to look at the instrument list and uh, take the instrument of your choice if for example if you want to change this to another instrument say for example we can take uh, an instrument AUD JPY now our uh, instrument has been changed to AUD JPY the trade value for uh, the candle can also be changed suppose if we want to work with half an hour this we are free to do so shift is the look back period whether you want to retrieve the prior data or simply want to use the current data 
that parameter needs to be defined from uh, this value. If the shift is left at zero, then the current data will be taken into consideration. If you define the shift back in time, suppose for example, two, three, four, etc., then that many candle uh, sticks which uh, have passed, we will have to go back and uh, the output value will be retrieved for that particular period of time. Then the segment, what is your segment of the market data which you want to take into consideration? Suppose if you want to work with the default setup of 18, you don't have to change anything, but you want to change this, then you are free to do so. If you want the signals to be generated on the faster node, then the lower segment like uh, 10 will do well. And if you want to work with the uh, longer uh, segment of the market, then I think uh, even the time segments like 40, 50 can be taken into consideration and it will have more lag but more smoothing also as uh, we are taking into consideration the larger time horizon data. For example, if we change this here, you will uh, note, notice the difference in plotting. Please pay attention. I am changing it to 10 first and the plotting has changed to some extent. Again, we change it to 50 and the plotting has again changed. So it's a question of the time segment for uh, consideration of the calculation of time segmented volume. And uh, what the indicator will do is uh, take into consideration the data for 50 candlesticks of 15 minutes each. And uh, it will uh, look at the price action as well as the volume, whether the money is flowing in or money is flowing out. And uh, depending on that, we will get this plotting and it will give us an idea of uh, the trend in the underlying instrument. So that's it from my side for uh, today's session. And uh, I think uh, I also have to pay attention. So pardon me on this count to two more uh, settings. And uh, one, as I have said many a times, we have to make sure that the offer side is same whenever you are doing the comparison. So make sure you are, you are working either with the bid or with the ask and uh, you are able to do the comparison accordingly. And the applied price, applied price also makes a uh, large difference of uh, this uh, price action as well as the volume data and uh, we will see it uh, how we can change that. I think on the JForex platform we don't really have that option but we can uh, always use uh, that option on the Visual JForex platform where we are working to develop the algorithm. So all you will need to do is uh, take any particular combination at a given point in time and then do the testing, see how the results are coming in, then try to change that uh, combination to another applied price. For example, if you first did the testing with the closing price, then next time around you try the open price or the high price and then you do the testing again and see what kind of difference it causes in the final results and depending on the favorability. You can uh, decide on taking any particular applied price. That's it from my side for uh, today's session. If any of you have any query or any idea to share, you can write it in the comment section and I will be more than happy to take the discussion forward. Thank you all for joining in. Subscribe to our Glucoscopy webinar channel. Stay tuned for market updates. Goodbye.